how to use the CSV file to mass deploy an address book to brother devices. Address books that contain fax numbers and or email addresses. Let's look at the requirements first. To follow this video, you will need at least one brother device that you would like to send these address book files to, a copy of the brother mass deployment tool that needs to be run from a Windows PC or laptop. Next, let's look at what we will be doing. Using the brother machine, connect to its embedded web server and add at least one fax number and email address. If you're only wanting fax numbers, then you can just add fax numbers. Or if you're only using email addresses, just put the email address. Then using the brother mass deployment tool, we're going to extract this address book as a brother settings file. We're then going to use another utility within the mass deployment tool to extract a CSV file. We can then add extra email addresses and or fax numbers to this CSV file. Using this additional utility of the mass deployment tool, we're then going to put the CSV file back into the brother settings file, which can then be mass deployed to one or multiple brother devices. Let's get started. So the mass deployment tool can be downloaded from a brother solution center. Simply select a supporting product, a Windows operating system, and then scroll down to management tools where you can download the mass deployment tool. I've already downloaded and extracted it into a folder called MDT. Please note that you don't need to install it. It can just be run. Next, what we're going to do is connect to this brother machine's web server and configure a fax number and mail address. So I've gone to the machine's embedded web server, address book, and here I've got a fax number. Here I have an email address. I'm then going to go to the mass deployment tool folder and open the mass deployment tool. Because I have BR Admin Professional 4 installed, it's now asking me if I want to import some of the settings from it. I'm just going to say no and click OK. Click the Add Devices button and I'm going to find the brother device that I've just added those uh, fax, that fax number and email address to, which is here, and click Add. I need to extract this address book, as shown here, into a Brother Settings file. So to do this, I shall change this drop-down menu to Backup Settings. I need to add the device's admin password and then decide where I want this backup file to go. And I'll just choose my desktop and then select folder. I don't need everything to be backed up. So I'm just going to click the selected button and then unselect everything apart from address book. Then click the backup button. And just in the corner of the screen, it's created that brother file, which is here. Next, what we want to be able to do is extract a CSV file from it. So to do this, we'll just click close. And then from the mass deployment tool, I'll select this button up here and go to open settings file editor. Click the open file button and then select this backup file. It's password protected using the same password that was used to protect its web server. So it's the admin password of the device. Click 
okay? And it's actually including too many things into this backup file. So we can unselect those now by unselecting special, unselecting all of these XML options and group dial. I'm going to now save this but as a different file. We'll just save this as address book. I can save this either as the same password protected file or as a non-password protected file. Either EDPK, which is password protected and encrypted, or DPK, which is not password protected. You've also got this option here, which says JSON, but when we are importing and exporting address books, it doesn't work with JSON. So you can only select from these two. I'll leave EDPK and save. It's now asking if we want to use the same admin password or we can assign a different one. I'll assign a different one and press OK. So far, all we've done is duplicate this file with less settings inside of it. What we want to do is extract this CSV file, which I'll do now. To do that, we click the advanced option and create dynamic referencing. Click the OK button. And then there's an option here to download a CSV file, which I will do now. And I will save this to my desktop. And again, I'll just call this address book for simplicity and click save. And here it is. So I can open this up in Microsoft Excel or whatever it is you use to open up CSV files. And you'll be able to see the fax number over here and email address that I pre-configured inside of the brother machine. So I'm going to add another fax number and another email address to it. So let's start from this column over here. First, you need an ID. So the fax has got ID one, fax one's got ID one, email one's got ID two. And it's just these address book locations here. So we're going to do three and four. You don't need to put zeros at the beginning. And I will call this one fax2 and this one email2. Note that you cannot put spaces in these speed dial names. It has to be um, numbers or letters, but with no spaces. Next, we have this index column and it always has to be the number one. Here we've got com type. So if we are entering a fax number, then we have to use this word here, fax tell, or if it's email, email. It's best to try and copy and paste these things. Otherwise, if there's any kind of mistakes, this CSV file won't work. This column here is where you would enter a fax number. So I'll just enter a fake fax number. And then this column is where we'd enter an email address. So I'll just say email to at brother.com. And then we just have some extra things in there that the brother device requires. So I'm just going to copy and paste them under these two columns. So that's completed. Of course, I can add more fax numbers and email addresses if I wanted to, but I'll just leave it like this for demo purposes. Click Save and I will close Excel. So at this point, I need to re-upload the address book into the settings file like this. And this is because we cannot actually send that CSV file to a brother machine. It has to be in this brother format. So to do this, I'm going to say import Maple CSV file and select it. 
and then just click save. Do I want to overwrite my existing address book file? I'll say yes. And now it's ready. So at this stage, we can use either the Brother Mass deployment tool or BR Admin to send this new file, which contains an address book, to one or multiple Brother machines. I'll just use the Mass deployment tool since I already have it open. I have the machine already selected, so I'm going to go to Send Files and then set file to select this new uh, address book. Enter the password, the new password that I gave it, and then press OK, and then click the send button. Now let's go and check if it worked. So I'm gonna go back to the machine's embedded web server Click address book 120 and because it's restarted, it wants me to put the admin password back in, which I will do. And as we can see, the new settings file was successful. Thank you for watching this video and good luck.